Hey guys, welcome back. So, I have just run into my first issue with the Prusa i3 Mark III. Let's have a look. As we can see here, it says error, min temp. Now, um, at the top over here, we see this is our extruder temperature and this is our bed temperature. And they both seem to be working, getting a reading. However, I have noticed that every once in a while the uh, extruder temperature will just drop to zero as if it's not getting a reading at all. So I think that I have a loose connection. Let me uh, back this up here. And back here, if I, if I jiggle this bundle of wires, let's watch this, see if it does anything. I'm shaking it, you can see the temperature just sudden, suddenly kind of dropped. There it goes down to zero. And you can see that after I jiggled the the wires there, it's still just sitting at zero now. Nothing's happening. I'm going to move them again. There it goes. So yeah, if I push it down, it makes connection and I get my temperature readings back. I take it back, back to zero. So loose connection. So the min temp, um, if, if you're getting this, check which one of your temperature settings is getting a reading. If you're getting readings on both of them, it might be a loose connection. It might have thrown the error um, when you weren't looking and then it reconnected but you still are having the error like uh, like I do here. If I move this down, I still have the error even though it's getting uh, looks normal. So this could be the reason. Um, and once you have the error, it stays on until you restart uh, and if you restart and it's not getting the connection, the error will immediately come back. And if you start a print and everything is normal and you have a loose connection, the error will come back and your print will stop. So if I flex this upward like, th like that, I lose a connection, which means there's either a break in the wire here or, let me turn around, or underneath here where the actual connection is this close right there you can see a couple little pieces of heat shrink wire and when I pull this I can see that that gets a little bit of tension I'm hoping that something just came uh, solder just came loose on one of those that would be good I'm not talking about this red stuff I'm talking about these little black wires right there by my dirty fingernail um, I'm hoping all I have to do is resolder that and not replace this whole wire which is not that big a deal but it's enough of a pain in the ass I don't want to have to undo all my my nice wire wrap here I'm going to remove these little zip ties right here now I think that my problem is here on this guy right here I hope it's not all the way at the actual thermistor I hope that it's on the solder joint here and not at the connection on the thermistor itself because that would mean that I might have to replace the thermistor. I don't want to do that if I can help it because that's just a big pain in the butt. There's two little heat shrink wrapped pieces here. I'm going to open those up with an X-Acto knife. Alright, so I've got my X-Acto and I got a little flashlight which I got free from Harbor Freight. Which I can put down here on the bed like this, give us some light. Well, both wires appear to be soldered reasonably well. It's like they're wrapped and soldered. Now the reason I think that it is at this end of the connection versus the um, the end of the control box is because I could specifically bend the the cable bundle right here and that would cause the thermistor to turn on and off so without affecting the other parts of the cable which is why I don't think the loose connection is at the other end if anybody's asking that right now 
The solder joints on here are very small, however they do look like they're soldered. They are connected pretty positively, so hopefully the thermistor itself isn't uh, giving me a bad reading here. So if I move all this around and I tug on these wires and move this back and forth, nothing seems to happen. The thermistor keeps its signal and everything appears fine. However, if I hold all this still, I'm just going to try to do this. If I hold all this still so that none of this is moving and then I flex the cable bundle up here, then I lose signal to the thermistor. Uh, so it seems like there must be a break in the wire somewhere in this area. So I'm going to back this wire out of the housing here and out of the cable wrap and uh, just snip off a section and re-solder in a new piece back down to the thermistor. And I think that's going to solve the problem. I'm just going to cut these right here at that connection, real gentle like. Now, <clears throat> out of curiosity, I'm going to see if this, if I strip this down a little bit, if I can actually pull out the wire and see which side is. Uh, so there's our wires. Let's see if one of these will slide out and we figure out how far up the line that break is if it's if this is a thing that will work and it does not look like it's going to work so we'll go ahead and just try to work this what I'm going to do is work this out of the housing here so you can see I've uh, backed out a pretty good chunk of this wire and I'm going to basically snip it off right about here I think is good and then I will strip this down and re-solder in a new piece of wire. It looks like this. It's a little bit beefier. It might be too beefy, but we'll find out. All right, so I've soldered in this new jumper wire here. Um, I am not going to try to route this back through. I'm just going to zip tie it to the housing here just for now. If it works good, I might uh, re solder this in a cleaner way but honestly I don't care. I just want it to be fixed enough to make my prints. So uh, I'm going to go re-zip tie all these pieces back together and we will test it out. All right we are around the front and switch this on. See if we get our error here. No error. We are seeing the temperature up here which means that uh, the jumper I put in is at least working for now. Um, I did however uh, between the last clip and this one I extended the jumper because I was still having the issue um, and now it looks like it might be alleviated so right now I've got a big chunk of wire hanging down that I'm just going to zip tie to the other cable bundle. I'm not going to try to tuck it in there uh, and then we'll start a print see how it goes. Alright so we are printing again um, I'm going to assume that the fix worked. It looks like it is doing what it's supposed to and it has not done this since yesterday. I've tried like a dozen times and it's not been working. So this is good. May need to adjust the level here. I see I got a little bit of a loose filament. So here's the setup right now. This is not optimal how I'd want to do this, but it's, um, it seems to be working and uh, eventually I will get the proper wire and rewire this whole piece and tuck it back into the housing. I say that now, but I probably won't if this continues to work. We'll see. Three hours and 25 minutes into this print, 96% done, and uh, still everything looks great here. So I think we're in good shape. All right, so that appears to have fixed the issue. I have been running this thing for a little bit now, and there seems to be zero issues with the thermistor losing connection and giving me a zero temperature reading. Uh, which is good. Now this isn't the optimal fix obviously with that wire on the outside of the cable bundle isn't what I would prefer but I didn't want to experiment take everything apart and 
just to find out I did that for nothing. So now that I know this works, uh, when I have a few moments, I will, you know, get that thing tucked, that wire tucked back into the bundle with everything else. And uh, it should be good, but it looks like it's going well now. So if there's any issues uh, after this video that are related to the same thing, I will put a note below. Uh, but as of right now, I'm going to call this fixed. So hopefully if you've had that same issue, the min temp sensor issue or error, uh, this might be a, a thing that would help fix your problem. Uh, if, if so, let me know. If not, and you have a different solution, put it in the description below so other people can see it. Uh, but anyway, thanks for stopping by. Good luck, and I'll see you kids soon. Later!